Alright guys, welcome back to the vlog. So, um, we're actually in the middle of restoring the entire interior, but I wanted to do the dash restoration as a separate video. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be following throttle dash restoration video. Um, I'm only going to be using one different material. So the first thing I have to do is remove the dash out of this uh, 1982 280ZX, and the dash is fairly, fairly cracked. So from what I understand, where you start is by removing these panels um, underneath the dash. There should be two screws on each side. And then from there, you remove this panel, and then there's a few screws around the dash that you have to remove. You have to remove the steering wheel. You also have to disconnect um, some wires in the back. So I'm gonna get started on that. All right, so I got the tarp up uh, just to keep, I it's gonna be a hot one today, so I'm just trying to keep the heat out. dash here which I'm gonna flock but I've still got some gauges and um, the instrument cluster still in the dash here so I'm gonna have to remove that stuff first before I can start flocking and preparing to flock. Alright guys, so uh, at Harbor Freight, I bought a whole pack of uh, these little wheels that go onto the drill. So what you're supposed to do first is sand the cracks and then kind of dig into them to make the crack wider and into a V-shape so that when you take the filler, there'll be somewhere for the filler to go and it'll um, give you a surface to even out. So that's the first one. I am running low on battery. So I'm just gonna go on and do the rest of them and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. A little later. All right, so we're back. Got everything pitted out. So I ended up just digging this hole out. I was gonna fiberglass underneath it, but as you can probably see, there's like a metal shell underneath and I'm just not going to be able to get underneath this material between the dash and the actual metal. So I'm going to have to find another way to fill this and then drill it back out. But for now, uh, I've got my sandpaper and uh, I'm going to sand away on the rest of this dash.
Alright guys, so I finished sanding down the dash. Now I'm going to give it a nice little wipe down with some acetone. And then we can start filling the cracks. Alright, so what I have here is um, a sprayable foam that's like designed supposedly to fill cracks like this in the dashboard. I ordered it from Eastwood. Part of me feels like I might have gotten duped into paying $25 for like a $5 can. Because I, I wonder if this is like the foam that they have at Home Depot or Walmart for like filling cracks uh, like in houses and stuff. But on the website, I think it said there's like a urethane based one. I don't know. It's supposed to be good for filling cracks, so I'm going to give it a shot. Really hope I didn't get had. Well, we'll see if this stuff is any good. Right, I got a little test piece of cardboard here. I want to see how fast this stuff sprays out. Okay, it's pretty controllable. Alright, let's see. It seems like the can really has to be held up vertically. This foam has just come out very, very messy. I don't know if I'm happy with it. I may just do the rest of the, the dash in Bondo, not continue to use this product. All right, I'm gonna try to take care of this hole where the speaker goes. So the can set to use a serrated blade to cut off um, the excess that's bubbled out. So the best thing I have is this plastic knife. So I'm just gonna do one of these. I think I'm gonna have to come back and do Bondo. I don't know that I'm gonna continue using this material. Alright guys, it's a little while later, uh, this stuff is finally hardened up, I think enough that I can chop it off, so uh, I'm going to get to work here.
late here, but let's see if we can do a little Bondo job. Let's get it started. <laughs> Okay, it's a few days later, everything's kind of dried up. I'm still going to need to put a few more layers of Bondo on here. Uh, I'm about to cut this guy out, it's all nice and hard now. So we're just going to keep applying some Bondo, I got another can of Bondo here. Still doing the Bondo. I picked up this kind, high bond filler. Uh, it says it doesn't expand, like non-shrinking, or yeah, sorry, it doesn't shrink. So I'm, not, I'm hoping that won't shrink or expand so that the cracks don't come back. So I'm working by candlelight here. So I'm just gonna keep applying this stuff, Bondo sand, Bondo sand, Bondo sand, uh, through the night, and then tomorrow, uh, we'll come back and we'll take a look at the final product and I think we'll be ready for the flock. Alright, it's so the next day. I've got most of this sanded, hand sanded down. So I have to drill the hole here for the speaker. So I got this like uh, three inch hole saw set. So I'm going to use that to drill through here in the back. All right, yeah, that hole came out pretty clean. So I'm just gonna finish bondoing it, and then we'll be ready to flock, I think. I got this uh, this fake little Dremel from Harbor Freight. Uh, I'm gonna try to restructure some of this vent inlay. <laughs> Alright 
guys, so here it is. I have the dash completely wiped down. Um, I dusted it, got rid of all the little shavings from the Bondo. So the next step, I'm going to take this acetone here, I'm going to wipe it all down, and then I'm going to give it a nice little spray with this uh, flat black uh, paint that I've been using on everything else. I'm going to be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm going to skip my breaks, I'm going to make mistakes. I just want to feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm so trying The flock kit, the glue is black um, But just to make sure that I get everything nice and black And a nice uniform color before we start the flock And there's also this metal piece that I want to be this nice flat black that we're not going to flock So I'm just going to put a uniform coat over the entire dash This is another reason I want to lay the paint down. Um, once the paint is added, I can see a few problem areas where I didn't sand as well as maybe I should have. So I'm gonna go back and uh, take care of some of these spots, sand them down, maybe add a little more bondo if I have to, and then I'll lay. I'll continue to lay down um, a little more paint. Alright, so here's the dash. Uh, all the cracks have been filled. Uh, we painted it with a flat black coat. Put the sheet down and we're ready to, to get the flocking. Alright guys, so before I get started, this is the flock kit. So it's got this little tube that you put the flock into. Um, this is the flock itself. I ordered actually two bags of this. The kit comes with one, but when they flock the dash at throttle, uh, the one bag almost wasn't enough to cover the entire dash, so I bought two. And then this is the adhesive. Uh, and then at the dollar store, I bought a roller and a little paint. I don't know what you call this, but it's for painting. So I'm gonna put the flock into the tube now before I start uh, putting the glue so that I don't waste time doing that later because the glue starts to dry uh, pretty quickly. So you only have a few minutes to apply the flock. All right, so it looks like the camera shut off, but I got the dash flocked. So here it is. So this has to sit for like overnight, I think 15 or 16 hours, and then I can put it into the car tomorrow. The next day. All right, so the next day, dash is fully cured, I hope. So I'm gonna blow off the, uh, the excess flock and then I'm going to start to reassemble all the pieces that go into it. So I just put these gauges in. These bezels are supposed to go in there, like between, to fill this gap between the gauge and the dash. But I broke the tabs, so this was actually one piece. And I couldn't line it up properly. I tried for like an hour now, and I just got frustrated. So that's how it's gonna be. Oh well. <laughs> All right. 
right, that's it. Everything's pretty much hooked back in. Um, so everything else will get put together once the, the dash goes back in the car. All right, guys, well, I am super happy with how this dash turned out. So I've got it installed in the car right now. So if you guys want to see, I redid actually the whole interior. So that's going to be the next video of me installing the dash and putting together all the interior bits that I have um, and just refinishing the whole thing. The flock, it's been a few weeks now since the dash has been in there and no cracks have reappeared, so I'm super happy with all the materials that I used. When I first started the process, I was a little apprehensive about the Eastwood um, foam, but after a little bit of trial and error, I found how to use it, and uh, I find that if you spray the foam and then push it in and then put spray another layer on top and just kind of leave it, let it dry, and cut it away, um, that for me seemed to be the best way to to use that product so thank you guys for watching hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for the next video where i overhaul the whole interior all right thanks for watching guys see you guys later